So you probably already know the basic structure of an atom, but how did scientists prove this structure you know so well today? First, let's go over what you know. Well, you know that the Greeks were the first one to consider the idea of an atom, basically for them that an atom is what one would see if you were to zoom in as far as possible on matter. You know that an atom has a nucleus and electrons that are attracted towards each other by what is called the electrostatic attraction. And you also know that in an atom, a nucleus is composed of protons and neutrons, and that the size of a nucleus compared to the rest of an atom is equivalent to that of a little pea in the middle of a football stadium, with the rest of the space being the space the electrons travel in. And finally, you should know that in an atom, the electrons orbit around the nucleus, just as the planets in the solar system orbit around the sun. But what you probably don't know is how this structure was discovered. Before this breakthrough experiment that I'm going to talk to you about, scientists believe atoms were just circles in which protons and electrons in which protons and electrons could just float around. But then these guys came along, respectively named Geiger and Marsden, and came up with a very clever idea of firing electrons at an atom. In other words, if the electron were to pass right through, it would mean the current model of the atom works. But if the electron deviated, it would mean that there is a concentrated point of matter strong enough in order to attract the electrons and deviate them for the trajectory. So they designed an experiment where they were to fire electrons using an electron gun and a thin sheet of gold containing gold atoms. This was the result. The lines represent the electron being fired at the gold sheet. Funny enough, we see that the electrons in fact deviated from the original trajectory, which leads to the conclusion that the atoms have some sort of concentrated piece of matter which attracts the electron. The conclusion from this breakthrough ex experiment is the theory we know today, and the diagram we know today, that an atom has a center called the nucleus, and apart from that, just mostly empty space in which electrons travel. This experiment is therefore really important, and has enabled us to come up with the technology we have today.